Hey everyone, TLL Porto here, today with another tutorial for, for you, this time on how to sync your Samsung Galaxy, or I guess most Android devices, with iTunes. Now, um, one of the setbacks when I was buying my Samsung Galaxy was, oh no, it's going to be a pain to sync music without iTunes, because iTunes just puts it all n nicely on your iPod, well organized. Well, um, I found a way to get it. So, um, all you do is, um, you you go on Google Play and you install Easy Phone Sync. So on your Android phone, and um, you just uh, get it. You go into the search options, and uh, you type in the name of the app and you download it. Or you can go to your website from your computer and click download. Okay, once you've downloaded it, um, this can be done from a Windows PC or from a Mac. So um, you just click here to download for Windows and here to download for Mac. And once you have downloaded the app, all you need to do is you can close out of your browser. Um, on your phone, for me, um, it seemed to work better for some reason if um, I opened the Easy Phone Sync app first and um, click on next and until um, it has a slight sync run PC application on your phone. Once that is done, plug in your phone and wait for your computer to recognize it. I'm just going to see computer and I'll be back once my phone has recognized the device. Okay, now I've correctly plugged my phone in, and um, as you can see, it's appearing here, and one thing you need to do, so the computer can see all the files, by the way, if you ever need anything, is, um, if you see, on top of your Android device, there's the little black bar, and there should be a USB logo, so if you slide down to bring the notification bars up, and there will be something probably saying connected as... And then it will say something, and if you just tap the connected as, it will load up the settings, and select camera PTP. Alright, now that this is selected, camera has been selected, you can just lock your phone, close this, close that, and um, launch Easy Phone Sync. Now, um, for you, this will bring up your settings and it will also launch iTunes automatically and it will tell you um, and it will let you choose what you want to sync I, I, it's just waiting while iTunes is starting there we go and um, this is what it will actually make you go through settings next I want this next um, mine is I do have the Easy Phone Sync application. Let me just solve this. Finish. And I'll be back in a sec to solve this. Okay, so actually, I think it turns out in the little notification bar thing I talked about. Um, don't select camera, you actually need to select media device if you're wanting to use Easy Phone Sync. So click on this. Next. And then, um,. I am just going to select um, copy the contents of an existing iTunes playlist. That is what I want. And here is my ticked songs to sync. And then I do next. I do not want podcasts. And next. Um, and these are any iTunes devices that you can copy your photos, notes, calendar, address book and contacts, text messages, etc. So that is very p practical if you're transferring data from the iPhone you had before, or iPad or iTouch. So then I just do next, and I synchronize the album art for both, and I'm going to ask it to sync now, as you can see here, and do finish. And um, as you can see, it is starting to, to sync, and I will be back when this is done. Okay, um, now as you can see, my phone synchronization is complete, so um, I can just unplug my phone from my computer. 
and um, now on your phone if you go into um, the music player everything will be there with the correct artists album art etc just like it would on your iPhone or iPod and uh, I've actually found the synchronization to be um, faster than um, to be faster than synchronizing an iPhone which I find really nice so see you next time and bye